Companies are on pace to buy back a record amount of their own stock this year. And according to a new report from Goldman Sachs, the cost of buybacks has started to exceed companies' free cash flow for the first time since the financial crisis. Meanwhile, today in Washington, a new proposal from a prominent senator wants share repurchase programs to directly benefit company employees. Ilan Mui has details. For Senator Sherrod Brown, buybacks are a symptom of a bigger problem on Wall Street. Wall Street's obsession with accumulating wealth for the people who already have it comes at the direct expense of American workers, all workers. We need to reorient our economy from Wall Street greed to the dignity of work. To do that, the Democrat from Ohio proposed new legislation today that would require publicly traded companies to give each of their workers one dollar for every million dollars spent on buying back their own stock. Brown calls this the worker dividend. So if a company spends $20 billion on share repurchases, each employee would get a one-time payment of $20,000. Brown singled out Walmart and J.P. Morgan as notorious offenders. The entry level of a J.P. Morgan Chase teller is about $35,000. You can't support a family on that. Compare that to the $31 million the bank paid its CEO last year. The worker dividend would be paid directly to employees after the end of the fiscal year. The proposal would also lower the cap on the amount of shares that companies can repurchase from 25% of average daily volume to 15%. And the SEC would be in charge of enforcing the new rules. But the U.S. Chamber of Commerce quickly opposed this idea as anti-growth. Putting the government in the middle of those decisions would actually harm everybody, including the, the employees who have uh, a lot at stake, not only the future of their company and the economic growth, but also their own retirement plans. Brown is not the only one on Capitol Hill who wants to target buybacks. A bill from Democratic Senators Chuck Schumer and Bernie Sanders requires companies to raise wages and provide more benefits in order to buy back stock. Senator Chris Van Hollen wants to limit executives from trading after a buyback. Today, Brown acknowledged that his proposal won't pass anytime soon, but he said he's prepared for this fight to last years. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Ilan Mui in Washington.